residents from across the region can now explore their history through art with the new historical Prince of Niagara exhibit. This is the largest privately held uh, collection of historical prints uh, of Niagara uh, scenes and people and it's at Tag Art Gallery in St. Catharines. The collection was put together by Tom Goldspink and Frank Goldspink over the last 10 years and about once a year we put on an exhibition in order to show the whole collection to people of Niagara so that they can come in and see their own stories in pictures. So my own favorite piece is a, an archival photographic print of a watercolor that was done in Port Robinson in the 1850s. Uh, one of the most interesting is done by a British Army officer uh, who was stationed in Niagara during the 1837 rebellions. His prints, his depictions, show social outings by he, him and his fellow officers. And one is a, a sleigh club outing at the falls in the middle of winter. The prints include key events from the War of 1812, transportation development, agriculture, and various sketches of Niagara Falls. We have a one wall of 12 prints which shows a survey of the first 100 years of European illustration of the falls, starting from the late 1600s up to the late 1700s. The original work was based on the writings of Father Hennepin and then all the other artists and engravings that were produced over the next hundred years were based on that original drawing and what you see through that hundred years is how the engravers and subsequent artists built on Hennepin and made changes depending on information which became available to them or, or reports that they had from visitors that were at the falls Important changes would be what were the physical uh, presentation of the falls and how some of the things that Hennepin saw uh, changed. For example, the so-called fourth cataract, which was caused by a rock outcropping underneath the horseshoe fall. That rock outcropping broke off and there was no more fourth cataract. So as the later prints no longer show it. Frank Goldspink, co-owner of the gallery, hopes that people will learn something new with the historic collection. What we want is for people to uh, see things, see something in the collection that relates to their life and stories that they heard as they were growing up, and that then th they'll see something, they'll learn something new about what was happening in, in, in their families in the uh, 1700s and 1800s in Niagara and then we want them to delve further into their own history and then maybe come back to us with feedback about things that they found out that we can then add to the stories. With free admission, the historical Prince of Niagara exhibit will be on display at the Tag Art Gallery until August 27th. In St. Catharines reporting for The Source, I'm Miriam Valdez-Carletti.